This is Hello Glass with another Glass Artist interview. What is your name and are you a glass bar? Mike Philpott. Yes, I'm a glass bar. How long have you been blowing glass and you consider yourself a master? Ten years and not even close. Your favorite style or type of glass to create with? Uh, probably clear. It's the hardest to hide <laughs> defects in, you know. Yeah. What state do you call home for your glass shop? Oh, Eugene, Oregon. Do you make? Uh, do you own or work under a glass brand or an art name? No, just myself. Work for myself. Fill pot tubes. Do you make your living solely off glass blowing? Yes. If you could blow glass with anyone living, who would that be? Uh, I already do that. Ham. <laughs> nice. What style or technique in glass is hardest for you? Probably big stuff. <laughs> yeah. Just hard, you know, heavy. Name two people that taught or influenced your glass skills. Ham and Marcel. Is there any style or technique in glass that you would or will learn in the future? Um, I don't know, just more stuff on the lid. Just get, you know, better and better, more detailed, more intricate. Uh, name, <laughs> there you go. Name two glass artists that impress you. Ham, because he can do anything. Uh, anything anybody else can do in the oral world, I'm pretty sure Ham could pull off. And, uh, I don't know, probably uh, Dizzle, just because he's does gigantic stuff and makes it look easy like it's not gigantic. <laughs> <laughs> What's, what style or technique in glass amazed you when you first saw it? Um, probably Sherlock's for some reason when I first started making spoons, you know. Like Sherlock's just blew my mind. Like, I asked him and Marcel and everybody I knew at that time, you know, teach me how to bend glass. Like, yeah, that was a difficult thing. I ended up having to do it on my own. <laughs> Worst injury you ever got making glass art? You know, I was just thinking about that. It's probably this one that I just got the other day because it's the first time I've ever in my life almost passed out from shock, I guess. Everybody I've talked to said it was shock. I almost passed out. Ouch. Yeah, yeah. It was career-ending fear, I think was, you know, not the pain, it didn't hurt. I mean, it was like, oh, that sucked, you know, but as soon as I saw it, I was like, that might be a tendon. You know, that that's an important finger. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. What do you wish to accomplish in the glass industry? Uh, I don't know, just more sought after, I guess. How does a glass fan get a hold of you or your work? Uh, Facebook is a good way. Uh, What's the all Facebook? My info's on there. Uh, just Mike Philpot on Facebook. Cool. And uh, Toke City, I'm on there too. You've got three minutes to tell the world whatever you want, go for it. <laughs> Buy my glass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, check it out at look, your local head shop, you know, compare it price wise, quality wise. Check it out, make your decision. You know. huh. This was Hello Glass with another Real Glass Artist interview. Thank you so much for your time. Thanks.